Hey everyone, I'm Romy Rain coming to you live at the 2019 AVN Awards Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is day three and I'm super excited to be here. It's going to be an epic week. Lots of girl power. Tomorrow is the 2019 AVN Awards co-hosted by myself, Bailey Rain, Esther Koo, with live performances by Cardi B. So it's going to be a pretty historic night and I'm just happy to be here. Thank you for having me, Bang. Well, we're very happy to have you. Thank you for coming up and interviewing with us. And uh, you keep saying girl power, and that's kind of been our entire motif for this week. So please expound on, on that because you have so much <laughs> I mean, I don't even really... I don't really, I mean, yeah, thank you. But I, I just think like it's just finally a time where the women are taken a little bit more seriously. I think because we've just started demanding a little bit more respect and with like the influx of everybody being able to create their own content on much easier platforms and everything being a little bit more user friendly, especially for females, though for everyone, for the boys, uh, gay, trans, everybody in the industry has been able to thrive a hell of a lot more, in my humble opinion, the past two years because of the the inclusion of being able to create and distribute our own content. So I think uh, we and everybody around us just realize how valuable like the strong, confident females are who really will take initiative and do care about the industry and can do a lot of this on their own. And we realize that, hey, you know, sometimes I am dressing myself and doing my own makeup and shooting my own stuff. Like, I am the product. I should be treated with respect and shoot the kind of things I want to shoot and look the way I want to look. Like, we're not just props anymore, which is kind of fantastic. And I think it really has changed a lot in the past two years with female empowerment in the industry. And I'm really, really excited to be a part of that. And what measures do you plan to take to further your female empowerment in the coming years? You know, in a way, I almost don't want to keep like focusing on like, oh, look, female empowerment. It's like we had the right to vote for a long time. Like females have been free for a while now, at least in the good old US of A. So in a way, it's just taking some of that power back and just some of our own control. Like the industry belongs just as much to the female performers as it does to everybody else in some degrees, even more so because it truly is like every inch of our bodies that we're giving to this industry. And it's an industry that a lot of us really love. And I, I've been in the adult entertainment industry for 12 years now, hardcore porn for six but the adult industry has very much been my entire life so I take it seriously and I've always taken it seriously and I think there's just been a little bit of a change at least business wise where performers are able to thrive a little bit more on their own and they're not really at the mercy of like a phone call anymore and having to take scenes that they don't want to take and do things that they don't want to do there really is just more initiative that we are able to take and especially with the social media era we're able to connect with our fans on a much more personal level and they tell us what they want to see they tell companies what they want to see and if they like you they will support you they will follow you they will pay for your porn the biggest lie i was ever told when i first got into porn is that people don't pay for it they they do. They do. But they pay for the porn that they want because there's so many options nowadays. So they care about quality. They want to see what they want to see and they want to see the certain kind of people doing what they want, especially if the performers and everybody in between seems like they're enjoying themselves and this is what they really want to do. Like having... This is the adult entertainment industry, but it's kind of funny that saying like having passion will really take you far. And I think there's more passionate people than ever before, not really afraid. Like it's not so much like, oh no, you're getting into porn. You might only last six months. That's bullshit. I tell every new girl, there is absolutely no chance you will only last six months if you take care of yourself, if you're on social media, if you're promoting yourself. Your career is not in the hands of anybody else anymore. It's in your hands. And I ain't trying to be necessarily a boss bitch, but I do like promoting that like you are your own person. Like you are you are your product and take control of that because it's your life. Just like everybody says you're sacrificing your whole life to be an adult entertainment then use that. Be like the best entertainer you can possibly be. Try to spread yourself around as much as you can. Don't just spread your legs, like spread your wings because there's so many things that you can really do and get attached to in this industry. Like being in porn has taken me around the world. I've been to different countries because of adult entertainment. It's it's incredible and I think if you take it seriously and show, show it love and respect, you'll get love and respect back because you're not gonna take any shit. This is our industry.
And when exactly are you running for public office? <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, who knows? Maybe one day. There you're, should be. There. I mean, I don't mind being a public speaker one day. I would totally speak Clearly, you're very good at it. Do you consider yourself the spokesperson for the industry? You know, I wouldn't mind hosting a few things every now and again. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Yeah, so that kind of stuff I think is also like a really big deal for people like us. Like we can show that we're able to do more things. Like there really was this whole joke that we're just sitting around gaping all day and we're really not. Like a lot of us have thoughts and feelings and interests and other skills and other things we'd like to do. And there's a lot more tied into adult entertainment than just like laying on your back. And I think it's really awesome to be a part of things like this. And yeah, if I can show that adult entertainers can speak on their own and are still proud to be in adult entertainment, then I'm I'm really happy about that. Again, like I, I'm really honored to really be a part of this. That's why I stress everything that I say so much because it does matter to me and I want it to matter to everybody else. Like this isn't a game and you can be smart and beautiful and talented and make a hell of a lot of money without having a pimp. Well, you are hosting the 2019 AVN Awards, right? I am hosting. I am co-hosting. I am. I am co-hosting the 2019 AVN Awards. It's incredible. I'm co-hosting with the gorgeous Bailey Rain, who is a very popular My Free Cams girl, mm -hmm. and a comedian Esther Koo, which is really awesome, and performance, performance is by Cardi B. And this is the first show where it's been all females like headlining the show. And actually Cardi B is the first female performer that the AVN Awards has actually ever had. And the fact that she's a former sex worker and arguably one of the biggest stars in the world right now is absolutely incredible and only legitimizes us further. And that's why we really should be taking this seriously because porn is mainstream. We're as mainstream as we wanna be. So it's, it's really up to us at the end of the day how much we want to do with this. What type I'm of excited. What type of effort on your part did it take to become an AVN host? Um, you know, I don't know. I really don't know for sure why exactly they picked me. They told me like a few different reasons here and there, but I don't know. I truly believe that one thing leads to another and I like I said this has been a a long long career technically at the end of the day for me and I again it just I care about what I do and I love what I do and I like to dance I like to model I like to connect with people my job is to like have the passion and have the sex that people wish that they could have and if I'm not doing that especially on a high level and feeling good about it then I'm not doing my job correctly like nowadays it serves nobody any good to be a lost, sad little girl in porn anymore. And it's not who we are, and I refuse to perpetuate that stereotype. Stereotypes aside, I understand you do something very, very unique. You do a little bit of, uh, mm, you what? know, ASMR. Oh, Autonomous Sensory Meridian. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, yeah. That road mic right to your right. Yeah? I, I <laughs> yeah, pick that up. Well... This kind of microphone isn't exactly what you would use for ASMR, but ASMR is really just trigger sounds and trigger words to make people relax and feel things. There's actually a very small percentage of people that really kind of do get off a little bit on ASMR, but a lot of it has to do with touching certain scratching sounds, whispering. But I turn that into something erotic because anything can be turned into something sexual. So I use my AS ASMR skills <clears throat> because I've always been told that I had a good voice. There's so many ways to speak. I don't want to ruin your microphone. But when I talk in like more of, I have a relatively low register. Um, if I speak kind of like this or if I'm being very soothing and soft, it really does it takes your energy in a different place. It does that for me. I started doing ASMR because I actually am triggered by ASMR and I translated that into jerk off instructions because what's better than a girl whispering and clicking her tongue and smacking her lips close to a microphone telling you how much she wants you to feel good. That's essentially what ASMR is, is trying to make you feel good and relax you and tingles. If you know anything about like tuning forks, like there's a lot of vibrations that really works for you. Everybody gets tingles from something. It's like if you somebody breathes on the back of your neck in the right way, like think of it that way. But 
it's a lot of fun for me because I, I like to play like with different voices and see what kind of makes people tick and turn them on. And I've been told that they some people like my voice in certain registers. And since I can talk a lot, I'm pretty good at dirty talk. So whisper some dirty shit into a microphone like somebody's next door and you got yourself a role play. Again, ladies, like there's so many things you can do like without even, again, having to lay on your back. My ASMRs are actually some of the top selling videos on my many vids and I'm not even naked in them. So it's kind of a trip, like use what you got. So aside from ASMR and dirty talk, what are the type of erotica are you like really, really into? Um, you know, I think everything is uh, it's erotic and can be erotica. I love watching people dance. It's kind of why, why I got into stripping. I could watch like a girl dance half naked for hours. I think most people could. So uh, really into that. Um, I think so many things are erotic. I think the way people speak to each other is erotic. erotic. The, the uh, like, I also like silly things like mukbangs. You can make mukbangs into something kind of sexual, which is really just eating shows. I've watched girls just like eat on camera half naked. And again, anything can be erotic. It's kind of like what you're into. That's why I like to play with a little bit of things because different strokes, different folks, there's something out there for everyone. And it's fun to play with it. I actually hear the number one fetish in the world is still foot fetish, so. Well, Miss Romy Rain, you are definitely a boss, quote unquote, bitch. So we appreciate you coming up to talk to us. We know your schedule is extremely busy. So we're going to go ahead and release you. Thank you so day. much. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming up. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for making me a bang girl of the month last year. I forgot what my month was, but who knows? Maybe I'll be back one day. May. May. It was my, oh, thank you. Thank you to the people in the back, the people in the curtain. Uh, I very much appreciate being your May Bang Girl of the Month in 2018. Hope to see more of you guys in 2019. Thanks for having me. I know I talk a lot, but that's what some people kind of like. And I appreciate you guys caring that the industry is, is going in a more elevated direction. And I think it's, it's only good for all of us. And I'm so excited to be a part of it. I think this is the best time ever to be in the industry, unless you were going to be in like the 90s heyday. But hey, we're here and let's enjoy it. Thank you guys.